Did you know that Stripe is going to allow you to take payments other than just credit card payments? There's many different payment methods that Stripe supports. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the payment methods and use them inside of your SureCard checkout forms. I have a SureCard checkout form right here. And when you scroll down, you can see here is what you're used to seeing, which is the credit card. But I've also enabled ACH. And so there's this US bank account option here for my buyers. They can click right here and they can make a payment with their bank account. And one of the side benefits is there's much lower fees for you that you have to pay as the merchant. So let me show you how to get this going inside of your SureCart forms. Step one is going to be to log into your Stripe account. So I'm logged in right now and then you're going to need to click the settings icon here on the top right. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to this page. And here it is, payment methods. All you have to do is click on that and it's gonna show you a list of the various payment methods. So right away at the top, you can see Apple Pay and Google Pay, those are already on by default. Now there's some here for different wallets. Here are bank redirects, one that's gonna be very popular and widely used is Ideal. And then as we scroll down, here's the options for buy now, pay later. So you can use Klarna. And as we scroll down here are the bank debits as it's categorized. And that is the ACH direct debit that I had enabled. Here's another one that's going to be very popular in Europe, which is SEPA direct debit. Now, when you want to enable any of these, there's this turn on button off to the right of all of them. Now, with the bank debit ones specifically, when I go to turn it on, it's probably going to give me some kind of a notice to enable webhooks. Let's try it with this option here for Canadian pre-authorized debts. So I'm going to turn it on and yes, we're getting this right here and it basically gives you some information about the payment method. Uh, this is the same thing that I was shown when I enabled the ACH for US bank accounts. It's basically saying two things that for this particular method, uh, it gets pre-authorized and there's a delayed not not notification. So what that means is the funds are not immediately available. There'll be a delay to receive the funds with this particular payment method. Uh, and then you can see right here, it's saying you really need to be using webhooks. Now, don't worry if you're using SureCart, that was already set up for you when you connected SureCart to Stripe. So I'll click right here where it says turn on anyway and then it will turn on for me. Okay, and so right here, it's gonna have this badge, webhooks recommended. I don't know why it says that when it probably knows that webhooks are already enabled. Um, and here's the details of it right here. So you can expand these to see some of the details of this payment method. And so right here for ACH, it's the same thing. You can expand it to see the details about this payment method, as well as turn it off if you wanted to turn it off. Now for step two, we need to change a setting inside of SureCart. So I'm back on my site. I'm gonna go to settings, and this is gonna be found right here underneath advanced. So it's right here where it says beta features and it says use the Stripe payment element. You just need to toggle this on and then click on save. Now this is gonna slightly change how the Stripe payments visually look. So with this disabled, you're only able to take credit cards and it's in that real minimal sleek look. This element here called Stripe payment elements is what creates that accordion that I showed you where there'll be a selector for the different payment methods. So let me show you that on the front, and which is bringing us to step three, which is to check out your payment form. So here's my payment form, and you can see how this looks a little differently. And this is that Stripe payment element, and it creates this accordion here. And they basically did this so they can kind of unify the way that they can take all of these different payment methods. Here's another payment form that I have set up on this site with our donation selector. So you can see it works with all of the different selectors that we have. Here it is. And I can click right here to test this. Now I'm in test mode. If I wasn't in test mode, uh, this wouldn't show these 
these kind of icons here. So you'll definitely want to test your forms with the different payment method just to test out the experience. And that's it. You can essentially enable as many of these as you want, and you can also go in there and disable it. Now, I noticed the first time that I enabled ACH, there was a little bit of a delay between when I enabled it and when it showed as available. It was just a few minutes delay. It could have just been when I did it. So hopefully you won't experience that delay. And that's all there is to adding these different payment methods that Stripe offers you.